Okay, I need this blue almond blend. Alright, I'll give you the thingy. Appreciate Thanks, friend. That's a huge relief. Now, I can finally open up shop. I'll be sure to swing by the monastery again, so keep an eye on the schedule and bring lots of gold. Cool. Give her Anna's secret thingy. Okay, and her shop is open right now. Um, okay, so she gives a whole bunch of interest. Oh, I forgot to go to the amiibo gazebo. I always keep forgetting that. Speaking of stuff like this, I gotta go to the holy tomb in the amiibo gazebo. I have a whole bunch of these, though. Is the thing. <laughs> I have so many already. Oh, I guess I can get infinite master seals from her. Ooh, I can get staff boosting items. Limited one each month. Tempting. If only I was richer. I mean, I technically am, actually. Just by a little bit, though. I'll prioritize weapons first, though. Um, I was about to do something else, now that I just remembered it. And now I don't remember what it was. Maybe we will have a look at weapons here. Um, yeah, so for my character first, let's put this away until we need it, basically. Violet can access the cotton floor on the map at any time, so we can take that if need be. But by default, we might not need it. Like, if I put everything away, let's start from scratch. So, yeah, my strength is at 51, so I can handle 10 weight. Welcome. Without having to worry about it. So yeah, silver sword doesn't give extra uses, though, whereas steel does, and we can handle the 10 weight. Brave has the ton of weight there. Yeah, with Enlightened One, I know that we have a focus on swords, so we may as well do some sword stuff. Is what we can do. So my main weapon there can be the steel sword. Is what it can be. Come back soon. Inventory. Um, yeah, so Enlightened One gives a whole bunch of points bonus here. So, a bunch bonus to authority, sword, and faith, and then a little bit to brawling. So, it's a very nice class to stay in by default for, like, training different things. So, I should probably have two main steel weapons for each of those weapon types. Is what I should probably do. Do I have steel gauntlets lying around? I do. So, I should probably have the main weapon of at least both of those. And because my strength is so high, I don't have to, like, hey make an iron version of either of those. Because... Why would I? Why would I, man? It's not like there's any downgrade to having steel since we have so much strength that the weight doesn't matter. Is this it? So yeah, let's go ahead and get go. a steel sword plus. And we'll go at Oh yeah, and the gauntlets have less weight. Hmm. Is this it? So yeah, different weapons have different weight than or knuckles. What the heck is this? Magical gauntlets that allow the wielder to attack twice when initiating combat. That's just a gauntlet thing, but that's cool that it's a magic one then. Is this it? There you go. There we go. Now we have Come two main anytime. weapons of Steel Sword Plus and Steel Gauntlets Plus as my two main go-to weapons apart from magic. Now, what other stuff might I like to work on, though, for my own unit? I'm the highest level in my army at the moment. Um, we could still do some work on Lance and Axe just to potentially get into some Master Classes or some more Advanced Classes for certain skills. So it wouldn't hurt to have things of those equipped. So how much does a steel axe weigh? 12. Hmm. Does its weight go down if it's forged into a steel axe plus? The answer is no. But we may as well have a steel axe plus on as well. Or we can just forge this later. And just use a regular steel axe for now. Come back anytime. Like, just forge up things that are almost broken. You know. So I can get some practice there. Maybe with a bow as well, so... Maybe I can have a main weapon type of, like, all the things. Yeah, do I have a spare steel lance? Doesn't look like I do. Those can just go into iron lance. Looks like I don't have any... Hold on. Let's see here. Rusted sword, I have 19 of those for iron sword. None that can become a legendary weapon or anything. That's not quite what I meant to do there. Iron, iron, dang. Nothing higher than iron, huh? 
21 of them. Such a waste. What about rusted things here? Oh, there's one on its own. A rusty axe that can be forged into Haute Claire. Ooh. And here's this thing that needs Ain axes. Sacred weapon Crest of Gloucester that restores HP every turn. Effect increased with Crest. I forgot about that. Do I have anybody who... I have a few freaking relics to go around. What if I take everything off, like everybody, and then put things back on again anew? We're going to completely redo the inventory here, okay? Apart from people's unique weapons there, because that's a no-brainer. That's a no-brainer there. Same with, like, Critical Ring on Ash there. Let's do this, then. Like, Healing Staff on Mercedes is good as well. Magic Staff is increased might for magical attacks. Like, we can rearrange those if need be, but we... For now, whoop, dang it, I took off Lewin. So I take off people's unique things, I'm gonna forget what goes with who. You know, oh, you're not holding anything. Um, I need the supplies. <laughs> Valuable supplies, man. Yeah, my magic users, since they mainly use magic, will have a bunch more open inventory space. So I can give them a whole bunch of supplies. And stuff. Yeah, the Kadusha staff would use probably pretty good Elizathea. I imagine. Once we do a paralogue with these guys, we'll have to put a weapon back on them. Is what we'll certainly have to do. Yeah, let's just take all that stuff off for now. I don't know. We'll redo stuff here. I mean, that's your unique thing, so I'll leave it on. Is what I'll do. Um. Yeah, let's completely rethink everyone's inventories there. So my own inventory here. Yeah, I can have a main weapon of, like, all the different things. So that's 11 weight. And steel lance pluses. I don't even have a single steel lance plus. That sucks, doesn't it? Like, we're gonna do weapons of all the things. And then we can have a bow as well. The steel bow is 11 weight as well, so that'll probably be decreased. I imagine. Oh, we may as well do that. So let's see here. Hey there. Okay, the weight doesn't go down, but the power increases. And we may as well forge them up when that's, when that's better like that. Like, here the weight goes down, so at 10 weight we have no drawbacks at all. But... That's only speed minus one right now, so we may as well have their durability Don't get lower first. Is what I figure. Um, Hello there. yeah. This one, you yes. know? That's booby bop. I think Return soon, so my please. unit's already insanely OP, so now we just have, like, the knowledge gem to gain weapon experience faster, and then we have, like, five different weapon types, and then magic on top of that, so... Looking good. Looking good there. And we have the plus versions of the two main weapons there. So next, Dimitri. Are there any other weapons that he wants to really work on? First and foremost here. So he could potentially work on bow some more. That would save him using a javelin or something, but javelin might not be a bad idea. Um, yeah, I don't think that there's anything else in specific that he'd want to work on. Just Lance's main weapon. Sword is a secondary. And then bow, because it's bow. You know? So what is this, anyway? Um, occasionally doubles attack and weapon uses for combat arts. Oh, it's a combat art one. I don't use combat arts a whole lot. So yeah, lances primarily, even though it's his worst weapon right now. And then maybe one sword, one bow. Because he's not coming to class, he will need that other knowledge gem. Is the thing... And then, let's see here. So yeah, Lance main weapon. So he has eight, currently. Wait, that he doesn't have to worry about, that there's no drawbacks of. So at this point, he could as well just use Steel Lance as the main weapon. With it forged up. Do we have any used ones here? I guess it wouldn't show. Um, also, the Crescent Sickles here. It requires B and Lance. 
Sickle of impossible resilience. This weapon has was crafted using forgotten knowledge. I'm curious about this. So lenses have to has to be a B for that anyway. Present sickle plus it needs a Garthium. Hmm. Cause we've yeah, that's one of the items that we like stole off some enemies. That could be handy for him to have at some point. But for now, he can take a steel lance as a main weapon, a killer lance as a secondary, because advantage plus wrath is insane, and then maybe a ranged one. Like a javelin or a short spear. Yeah, like a short spear would be pretty handy for him to have there. And then secondary of sword. So I could always give him a steel sword, or I could give him something specific. Like to go... Like to shred through armor for example. Ooh, a rapier on him. Mmm. That sounds spicy. And then we can give him a steel bow. This is what we can do there. Hey there. So yeah, maybe I shouldn't be forging these up quite yet. I should just set people's inventories and like swap them around. Or forge things up once. Once the uses start running out, you know? Because, yeah, I may as well use up the uses here first, you know? Because those are some expensive materials there. That one just requires smithing stones. But, yeah, we may as well use up the uses first. My camera's blocking things, I'm sorry. But, yeah, if we're going to be most efficient, we may as well do that then. Tempting, but, again, 20 uses. But it would also give them additional range there, you know? Okay, his inventory is fine there. Next, Felix. Felix does have magic at his disposal. So there's already that. And as a dancer as his final class, he will be focusing on sword stuff. Now, Felix doesn't worry about five weight currently. Silver swords are a bit lighter. Okay, he wants his Leaven Sword, because he's magical. And it gives him that range. So I feel like for Felix, I should probably just give swords. I could also give him an axe, just so that he can work towards Warrior. His Vantage plus Wrath is always broken and such. Like, I haven't trained him in axes at all. I would preferably want to reclass him to an axe wielding class if he did that. Like, that could be something for the far future, maybe. Yeah, Aegis Shield has to be his equipped item. So maybe we'll just give him, like, an Iron Axe Plus for now. Is what we can do. He can swing it around when he feels like it. Also, this stuff here. Hero's Relic, Crest of Dominic, Magic Weapon. Crest Bearer can use Dust. And this is Crest of Gone Rule. Crest Bearer can use Apocalyptic Flame. So I assume... You probably have the Crest of Gone, Rill, Hilda. Yep. And Annette, do you have the... You have the minor Crest of Dominic. And you don't have a Crest of Dominic at all, so she must have gotten that from her mother, I guess. Annette, did I ever give you any axe training? Where do you go? I mean, I could always give you Vantage plus Wrath when it comes to axe stuff. You are... Good at axes there, apparently. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Crest Bearer can use dust, huh? This should probably go to her. Since that'll be her thing there. Wait, what's this other stuff that I have here? So what are the other... Let's have a look at our crazy weapons first. Um, there's an illustrious sword forged by the artisan Zoltan. I mean, I could always give Thunderbrand to someone else, but... <laughs> I don't know. Um, there's a Spear of Assal. Sacred weapon, Crest of Keyhole, that restores HP every turn. Effect increased with Crest. Okay, so the Crest of Keyhole, I know, is Linhart and Flane then, right? Um, no, that's Crest of Sethleen. What was Keyhole again? Crest of Keyhole? Who is that? Maybe I should... This is what Serena's Forest is for. 
fire, emblem, three, houses, Serenus, forest. There's probably a crest page here. Um, where's crests? There we go, crests. So where's keyhole? Um, Sedith and Ferdinand are the ones that have that. Okay, so we may as well give that lance to someone else then. Pretty much, as I'm probably not going to use either of them. It restores HP every turn, but the effect increases with Crest. So I'll probably just give that to, like, someone else then. Alright, I was working on Felix here. So yeah, you can get a whole bunch of general stuff here. Typical steel one. Maybe an armor slayer thrown in. And then what other stuff might you want? We can throw that on for now. Ooh, there's 11 sword plus too. Spicy. There's the high crit rate one. That devil sword. You always, oh, we already have an armor slayer on. You could always put on the silver sword for like even more extra damage if need be. If it comes down to it. 12 might and steel sword plus is 10. Yeah, we can give him the silver sword for my swordsman there. With an axe thrown in for working towards wrath, I guess. Okay, now Ash, my snippety sniper. So he's going to be a bow knight at the end of the day, so I could always give him a lance too. Now that he has wrath, he doesn't have to worry about axes like ever again. So Ash is... Currently doesn't have to worry about five weight. I could give him a steel lance or I could give him an iron lance. He's probably better off with iron for now Since he hasn't quite built it up enough yet and then he wants bows Like he's probably still good with an iron bow plus Do I not have a steel bow plus? Oh, yeah with the vantage plus wrath build it would benefit him to have a killer bow on Apparently, I don't have another steel bow to go around. Um, definitely not magic bow. I could always give him a long bow with extra range. Can be used at close range, but cannot make follow it uh, follow up attacks at one space away. He doesn't really need that though. I could always give him one extra range if need be with that, and then we can give him like a steel bow. Me thinks. So let's go ahead and buy him a steel bow. That's what we can do here. Bows are there. I also have some brave weapons. I got a couple brave lances, I believe, right? I could always give someone a brave sword. Instead of like a silver sword. Did I have a brave sword here? I could buy you one. Welcome. I can get you one well, brave one sword, thing? Felix. Many thanks. So yeah, the brave sword Come back soon. could allow him to quadruple attack. Yeah, it has 12 weight, but it could allow him to quadruple attack. Currently, Felix only negates 5 weapon weight, so it's not as good as it could be there. I wonder, does forging it get rid of some of the weight? No, it does not. Well, we'll leave it at that Come for now. Alright, inventory. Next. Yeah, critical ring on is good. That is good and such. Alright, Sylvain next. So Sylvain is a magic user, but he also wields lances. I had to mute my microphone to cough for a second there. So yeah, he also has his unique lance there. He has a couple things there that really help him. So Sylvain currently has 23 strength, so he's negating 4 weapon weight. So I mean, he may as well have on a Iron Lance Plus in that case. And then maybe some other stuff here. He doesn't need the range with the Lance, because he has magic anyway, so he can switch to that if need be. So I don't need to give him a Javelin or a Spear or anything like that. Um, we could always give him a Steel one, and then we could also give him... Can anyone even wield the Spear of Assault? Does anyone even have A in Lances right now? Ingrid might. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% certain. Yeah, we can give him another... We can give him a Steel Lance as well. Is what we can do. 
and then we can give him a couple spicy ones here since he has the space like he's a very good mixed unit like i have very few units that are good mixed ones here i have very few mages that are actually good physically as well like my closest things to that are sylvain and felix so i may as well dump a whole bunch of ones on him and then have the ones that have more inventory space be the mages who like can't use physical weapons pretty much at all um yeah let's buy him a steel lance too Welcome. is what we'll do so yeah where is that also is there any fun weapons here there's like silver stuff okay not quite yet then so Will this one steel do? lance Will this one do? we get him one of those we'll forge them into upgrade things once they start running out of uses since that automatically repairs them anyway. Come back soon. All right, next here, let's do all the physical units first and then the mages. Unless they have anything better to equip there though. So yeah, the healing staff increases the effectiveness of magical healing. So that's very good for Mercedes with both fortify and physic. Yeah, you can keep the Kadusha staff with your restoring HP and extra magic range. Magic staff. Raises might for magical attacks. Hmm, I do want to give that to someone here. One of my magic users. You're already occupied there. Okay, you can use a healing staff as well. This is what you can do. And then Flane will get the magic staff in that case. Focus on offensive magic since... I guess she has fortified too, but like... Mercedes also has physics, so she can keep the healing staff. Me thinks. Yeah, maybe I'll go through those extra items first. What to have equipped on. Yeah, so there's the magic staff and crusher. So I'll have to give her some axe experience here and there. So for Ingrid here, what do we want her to have? Restores HP each turn, restores HP each turn. But that also gives plus four luck, so that one's better. This is what that is. Yeah, so may as well do that there. Could help out. And then for other units that I'm using here, like Dorothea. Oh, she can use the magic staff, actually. Instead of Flane. Then Flane can have, like, a healing staff or something. Those two currently have healing staffs. Maybe I'll take Marianne's and give it to Flane, because I'll probably use Flane more often. Me thinks. You know... So Marianne, then, could have... I mean, I might give that to someone else. Let's go through my main units first. For those who need to equip something. You know? It's a, well, that's all eight of my main units that have something equipped. There's the magic staff to increase your damage. Yeah, that'd be very good for Dorothea, because she's more of an offensive mage than a healing mage. Um, yeah, Flane with the healing staff for Physic. I can always give the experience gem back to you, Cyril, even though you've gained quite a bit of experience already. It's useful to have it on there. Okay, I, that means I can always give Marianne the prayer ring now, because I've now gone through all the items there. Everybody that I use now has a thing. Except for Gilbert. I can give him a shield. That seems about right. Five weight. Protection and resilience. Let's give him a hexlock shield. Is what we do. Sounds like a good plan to me. Okay, now to go through weapons again. Now I'll do my physical units first here. So like Ingrid next. <coughs> so as a Falcon Knight, she focuses mainly on lances and sword as like a secondary. So her strength is currently at 22, meaning she negates four weapon weight. So, I mean, it can still benefit me to have a Iron Lance on her. Iron Lance plus. And then we'll probably also do a... Oh, yeah, I was going to train her in bow, too. Iron Lance, Steel Lance. Then we'll have a bow. Probably an Iron Bow instead of the training bow from before. So, Iron Bow plus. And then we can have, like, a sword as a secondary kind of thing. Do we want to have a specific sword, then? Since that would be the whole point of having a different weapon? Maybe not for now. Oh, something like that, then. Me thinks. Dang it! I meant to equip it. This is what I wanted to do there. Let's go ahead and equip that. Yeah, before I forget. Go ahead and equip. 
Or we can even just go ahead and do that too. No. Okay. So that's all my main physical units. Apart from Gilbert, I can always give him some things. Like he had a mace before. I can always give it back to him. Yeah, someone needs to have this thing. I could always give two of them to Annette. You know? <laughs> two axes to her, because I don't really have any axe wielders in my army. Do I now? Like, Ash learned a bit about axes, but would be best off if he was using lances in his final class, you know? Like, the closest thing I have there is Annette. Her strength is pretty low. Fine, Gilbert, you get Hilda's, since I'm not exactly using her. And this one needs A and Axe, a sacred weapon crest of Gloucester that restores HP every turn, effect increased with rest. So there's heroes, relics, and then there's sacred weapons. So yeah, no one can even hold that at the moment. So yeah, sure, effective against armor. You could always hold on to one of these. May not be a bad idea. Have it around. So hammer is 10, 60, 15, and 6, 76. Hmm. So hammer's more effective, but it weighs so much more. I mean, his speed's already awful. So I guess I didn't look at his strength to negate the weapon weight. Um. I mean, sure, man. Whatever. Yeah, so then Annette here, she's gonna get some axe, like, hers, is her lance already where it needs to be? It is, so she doesn't have to work on lance at all anymore. Like, I'm pretty sure that the Dark Knight class only gets Dark Tome fare and not lance fare. I'm fairly certain, so I can probably have her be a horseback axe wielder when it comes to a physical weapon. Is what we can do there. So let's give her a few axes, actually. Is what I think I'll do there. So iron axe plus. We can always give her a steel axe. It doesn't look like I have any more right now. Oh yeah, she can't even wield it yet. Let's just throw it on for when she can, eventually. Um, and yeah, she can wield a mace, but not a hammer. Since the hammer's the upgrade version, looks like. So yeah, mace. And then as a magic user, you have some extra inventory spots. So, concoction. Now then... Dorothea here, you do like swords as your next best weapon, but your strength is so mediocre that it's, I mean your sword has gone up quite a bit with you being out of my army for so long, but your strength is so mediocre, you only negate two freaking weight there, so let's give you the iron sword plus, you can use eleven sword to apply your magics to sword is what you certainly can do. And you can wield some specific... Well, you're already basically slaying armor with magic, so there's not much point in that one there. Not exactly. Give you a steel sword. And then, yeah, I think. Then concoction. We can even put on two. Put on the spare one there. But I don't think there's any other spicier swords to give to you, you know? Okay, so Lizathea here, she also benefits from swords, but only really from her combat art, Soul Blade, her unique thing here, you know? What's that look for, Sonic Mario? A magic attack might increase based on units res, so it's based on the res then. Hmm... So, will she still be doing more damage with something like a steel sword? And then a training sword? Like, do I have a training sword plus? Do I have a training sword at all? Here's a training sword. Let's take that. Because the combat art uses four additional durability, so we can, like, spend through durability on that if we need to. You know? Like, I think the weapons I give her will mainly be for using Soul Blade. Wait, can anyone use the Sublime Creator Sword? Wow. She can literally use it. It's just... Yeah. 
Okay, never mind. It says Harmonia alone can wield it. I was about to say if it's like the other heroes relics where you can trade them around no matter what. It's just you can only use the unique combat art if you have that there. Um, yeah. Just dying of boredom because you want to switch so bad and nothing else looks fun to play? I'm sorry to hear that there. I could always recommend some good PC games if you have a decent computer to run them. I know some good ones there. Um, let's see here. Nah, I, I'll probably keep more regular swords on her for, for her to use Soul Blade, I think. Yeah, so just a few swords like that. And then we can put on, like, a concoction, I guess. Interesting emote there. Now, Marianne, she works with Lance's best. Looks like she hasn't trained it up at all, but she has a budding talent for Lance. Oh, the, the game trained her in swords? Oh, come on, because I want to make her a holy knight. And once you unlock that budding talent with Lance's, I believe she gets the frozen Lance combat art, which, similar to Soul Blade, allows her to apply some magical prowess into, into Lance attacks. Meaning you need some Lance's. But right now, you're only negating one measly point of of weight so we'll give you an iron lance plus for now can't wield any other weapons huh maybe a training lance in case that results in doubling but your strength set is probably pretty mediocre i just need to unlock frozen lance on her and then she can start applying some of her magical ability into lance attacks is what i need to do just take some stuff there. I don't know, man. Boopity bop. Vulnerabilities. Let's fill all of everybody's inventory slots so the moment I pick something up, it doesn't just fill up my inventory. You'll get one eventually. Alrighty. <coughs> Sorry for my coughing there. Should have muted my mic there. Okay, Flane is also a Lance wielder, but she doesn't exactly get anything that helps with that. She's only negating two things there so we'll give her the training lance plus two. Oh, she has a and does she have a and lances she can wield the cre oh she has at least b in it she can wield the crescent sickle wacky man <laughs> let's take one it's for fun um yeah i don't really have any other spicy lances here dimitri could get the brave lance sometime in the future is what he can do i should probably make that one iron lance a few of them. Iron Lance pluses before I forget. This is what I should do. You know? Boopity bop, boopity bop. Okay, let's make those Iron Lance pluses. Hey there. Convoy. Is this not organized at all? Because where are those almost done for? Iron Lances. Oh, these are all equipped on people. Okay, now this is in the convoy. Oh, okay, it is organized. Yeah. Then a lance. A lance that poisons foes. Hmm. You know what? Let's get another killer That's lance it. out of it. There you go. Could be handy to have. I think it went back to the top again. Could be handy to have around the convoy there. Let's make one more iron lance plus. I don't really have to worry about poisoning enemies because I'll probably be killing them soon after. Unlike my enemies poisoning me. Should be very handy for them. Armor Slayer Plus. Hmm. Hmm. Neat. This is the cursed one. 50 crit with that. Wacky. And then this one. Yeah, I don't really. Poison. Oh, I need Venom Stone. Interesting. Yeah, we got one Killer Lance out of it already. Let's get another Iron Lance Plus, me thinks. Okay, I've completely redone people's inventories. Should I redo battalions too? What do you require? Like, who would like a new battalion? You don't need battalions at all. Felix. Anybody who's not at silver. Let's see here. I can't sort. Yeah, there's those ones. I could give you a. Yeah, that's as far as that goes then. Looks like you only have D available. Yeah, you only have D plus in. Authority, I could always upgrade that. 
Okay, Dorothea could definitely use better battalion. I can probably Farewell. go through my inventory of battalions that I already have, honestly. So let's see here. Yeah, we can equip a D one. So there's archers. Do I have a magic one? I do. Group flames. Yeah, let's do that then. And Marianne here. Only has E then. So Stride is always handy. Stride is unbelievably wacky. I'm gonna do it. I'm getting stride again. I'm gonna get it real good. Um, has your authority gone up any? It has. I could give you a C one now. Heal all allies or resonant flames. As opposed to group flames. So that each one use. So this is literally nothing but better. Nice. Good upgrade there. You have decent authority? You have D authority. There's magic. There's archers with full assay. That's always handy for dealing with demonic beasts there. Um. Is that an upgrade? Doesn't look like it. Whatever. We'll give that battalion some training, I guess. It looks like... Okay. So, we've now revitalized the inventories of all these characters here. We are so organized now, it's fant- Oh, I didn't do it for Mercedes. I forgot it for one unit and it was Mercedes. Okay. So your main weapon would be Lance, I guess, just because... I need that for Holy Knight. She has a budding talent in bow. What does it give, though? I forget. I can always check my spreadsheet for this. I have it all down. Let's see here. Where's my... Where's my spreadsheet for that? Um, here we go. My Fire Emblem Three Houses spreadsheet. So let's scroll down to Mercedes. So, her bow budding talent gives her the warning shot combat art, which gives foe strength minus five if she lands a hit. It's not too useful. It's not too useful. I guess she gains a unique combat art, but... Eh, is it really that useful? As a main weapon, it could, I could probably wind up giving her lances then. Even though she sucks at it. Okay, bows it is. Bow it is then. Here's an iron bow. Here's a training bow. Oh, here's an iron bow plus. And here's some healing things. There you go, have fun. Okay, I've now organized everyone's inventories. From the units that I use. Look at that. Dang, I forgot Cyril. So, Cyril here. I was wrong there. So yeah, he's mainly gonna be wielding axes and bows. <coughs> does Wyvern Lord give... I forget, does it give Lance Fair and Axe Fair? I forget. Um, it doesn't show the skills of the class there. Maybe if I go into reclass here. It just gives axe fair. Okay, so there's no bonus to lances, so I don't really need to have lances on. So axes will be the thing that he's doing the most damage with there. So axes and bows it is for him. I literally don't have to touch lances at all. There's no reason for him to. So he is currently at, he was negating six weapon weight, I believe, which was like the second most in my army, or third most, sorry. Yeah, he's negating six because he has 33 strength. I can easily give him a Steel Axe Plus without too much worry there. It'll probably still be worthwhile to give him an Iron Axe Plus regardless. Steel Axe Plus, but no need to go under Iron. He can take this thing. Restores HP every turn. He can take the thing then. So then we'll give him two bows. We can always give him an Iron Bow Plus and then we can give him like a Steel Bow Plus. Me thinks. I don't have any extra steel bows there, so let's go buy one for Cyril here. Welcome. Here's what we do. Where are the steel bows? There they are. This one do? Like once my army strength starts getting higher towards the end, we can even start taking off the iron things and start replacing them with crazier thing robs. You know, get really spicy spicy. I still have 30,000 Gs. Professor? Still 30,000 Gers there. All right, I think we better see the support conversations before wrapping things up here. Dimitri's unable to deepen his bonds right now. 
Ooh, we get to see the end of Sylvain and Felix's conversations. Sylvain. Hey, Felix. I'm glad you're safe. You irresponsible fool. Protecting me like that? You're so weak and yet you always, always... Look, it doesn't matter. As long as you're safe. You can go on living while I... Stop kidding around! You're not going to die. I won't let you. <laughs> nah, I won't die on you. I promise. You think something like this could kill me? No way. A little magic will take care of the wound. Some bed rest, then I'm good to go out and do it all over again. Sylvain? Oh, come on. That was funny. It's not like you to be so concerned. <sighs> you really are a fool. The biggest in all of Fodlin. I thought something was off. There's no way you could die from such a small cut. You're so reckless and inattentive. I thought this might be divine punishment. Hey, that's not nice. You should be thanking me. I am grateful. You've been doing this since we were children. Constantly fooling around, but then showing up and helping when we really need you. I'll admit, seeing that smile on your face, I almost want to give you a hug. Almost. A hug? Did you get hit on the head? Come on. Tell me you want to hug me again. I liked it. <sighs> I won't be repeating it, you halfwit. You're obviously fine, so I'll leave now. You know how we grew up together? <sighs> obviously. Do you remember the promise we made when we were kids? About sticking together until we die together? I remember. Well, I'm really not trying to get myself killed before you. You know that, right? I know. I know. But I'm tired of these close calls. You have to stop fooling around. Take your training more seriously. You can die whenever you please, but I'm not going down with you. Okay, I get it. Once I've healed, I'll get my act together. <laughs> then I hope you have a speedy recovery. Sylvain, thank you. That's what friends are for, Felix. Oh, looks like they finally made up and they received a plus support speaking of a plus support <sighs> now the flowers are all taken care of huh? Felix why are you hiding there I'm not hiding no then what are you here for you don't even have a real reason do you no I don't then why because of you what What's that supposed to mean? I want you to sing for me. I hear your voice when I'm asleep or in battle. It's like... It's like I'm your captive. My captive? What are you saying? Oh my, I'm suddenly really flustered. I can't help it. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. Forget I said anything. Felix, are you... blushing? I don't know. Shut up. I'm not blushing. Um... Uh... Well, if you feel like that about it, I suppose I could sing for you sometimes. If you like that sort of thing. Oh? I'd better go. Bye. Hey, wait! You just got here! Do you want to hear me sing or not? Uh, yes. I, I do. Well, what song do you want me to sing? Bears, Swamp Beasties, Foxes, or Dungeon? I'd like to hear all of them. If you don't mind, starting with the library song in full. Sing for me, please, Annette. Well, okay, just this once. That's like one of the few times that we've seen like a super soft side of Felix that he tries to push away. That was adorable. Um, and looks like he can also talk with Liza Thea. Day. You don't change. Still prattling on about it. Aw, oh, come on. I just want to hear what you thought of the cake I gave you. Uh, it was edible. If by edible you mean incredible, then yes, I agree. It was satisfying and lightweight. I imagine it would be quite useful as a battlefield provision. Please refrain from lumping delectable cake into the same category as provisions. 
You're upset and I don't understand why. I'm complimenting the cake. You cured my dislike of sweets. For that, I thank you. You have an interesting way of giving compliments, but I'm glad you liked it. Yes. Got any cakes on you? You say that as though I just carry cake on me at all times. Did you want some? That's not what I meant. If you baked a cake, however, I wouldn't object to eating a slice. If cake is what you want, you can just ask me directly. It just so happens I have a brand new recipe I tried out, special for you. It's delicious and not overly sweet. Perfect for you. Okay. Go on. Take a bite. Mmm. You love it. I can tell. Here, try this one out, too. Mmm. See? So amazing, huh? Just keep working on that sweet tooth of yours. Then we can share cake notes together and eat cake together all the time. That is... It just sounds nice as all. Mm hmm? Oh, okay. That does sound nice. Felix is beginning to really open up to people, isn't he? Is he gonna open up to someone else now? Oh, uh, probably not. This is just B support. Flane, what's that you're hiding? Oh no, my surprise is spoiled. I had brought some fruits for you to cut up in addition to the firewood. I thought some variation might prove amusing. No, I'm not doing that again. I've got better uses for my sword than chopping up fruit and firewood. I cannot imagine what could be better than chopping fruit. Chopping up my enemies. You say that as though you have many enemies. So you would rather chop people than firewood. Is that it? That's not how I put it. But a blade's purpose is to kill. To chop wood, use an axe. To chop food, use a knife. It's simple. Surely it is not forbidden to use your sword for other things. Like chopping fruit. Swords that cut inanimate objects are serving a much finer purpose than those that cut living beings. What a noble sentiment. But without a blade to cut down your enemies, you cannot win. Those who are weak lose everything and they die. Those who are strong win and live on. I understand why you balk at bloodshed. But you must know that it has a purpose. And what purpose might that be? A purpose. Let's just leave it at that. I'm not in the mood to debate you. I'll continue to wield my sword. And if necessary, cut down my enemies. He certainly is a stubborn one. I remember those two went together my first playthrough. Which was surprising. Can I not? I missed the opportunity to deepen this bond. Are you kidding me? So the units that I plan on potentially using, I should recruit right from the get-go then? You literally can't see the C support at all now? That is so rigged. At least I know it now, but still. That, oh man, that really, really sucks. Excellent. Well done, Ash. Continue such work, and you will certainly make a name for yourself. You think so? Thank you, Gilbert. You really are amazing, you know. Your skills with the lance and bow are just incredible. One learns the craft of knighthood well after 40 years of service. Wow. 40 years? That's incredible. With that many years of training, I'd be really strong, wouldn't I? Further training and service will only make you stronger. Yet, why spend your life this way? Knighthood is not glamorous. On long campaigns, you sleep rough in all manner of weather, and may eat gruel more often than venison. It seems odd that you would admire me, or that you would long to be a knight. Are you sure of yourself? But of course, it's been my dream for a long time now. I really can't help but admire you. Your years of knighthood are so impressive. I do not deserve your praise. I merely performed my duties to the best of my skill. Don't be modest, you're a great knight. If there's any more you can teach me, I would be very happy to learn. Hmm. Tell me this. Once you don the armor, raise your shield and level your lance, why? What is it you wish to protect? Protect? I, um, well, whatever needs protecting, right? You must know exactly what you protect before you become a knight. I understand. 
I'll take that to heart. What is it that you want to protect, if I may ask? My duty has always been to protect my lord. That is a given for any knight. But for myself, doubly so. Then there are the personal reasons. Each knight has their own. Yet mine, I do not speak of. Oh. How come? Because it is personal. Mine. It allows me to focus on the work and grants me discipline. That is sufficient. Discipline, huh. Something to protect. I'll have to think of something. Getting Ash to think there. What does Sylvain have? He has another Dorothea one. Ah, Dorothea. What are you doing here? I was actually waiting to see you. Were you going to invite me out to dinner? I accept. Yes, I was. I don't think it would be so bad to share a meal with you from time to time. How about tonight? I'm busy tomorrow. That's fine by me. What are you busy with, I wonder? Girls? And more girls? <laughs> Isn't it an unwritten rule not to ask about such things? But what a curious turn of events. Have you perhaps got an ulterior motive? No ulterior motives. If you're worried, we can just pretend this conversation never happened. No, wait! That's not what I meant. I just don't understand why you want my company now, when you've always been so cold to me. Have you perhaps fallen in love with me? <sighs> my stomach just got queasy. You know what? Maybe I'll eat on my own after all. Fine, fine, I get it. You want someone to chase your loneliness away. Something like that, yes. If you don't want to, I'll ask someone else. Don't dream of it. It would be my pleasure, milady. And to be clear, the reason you chose to spend time with me is my family, yes? Or is it my crest? Both? I'm just curious about such things. Say I was a commoner. Would you still have invited me to dinner? Is this really necessary for a simple dinner invitation? Actually, I have a question of my own. Say I was a hoarse-voiced old hag. Would you still be flirting with me? Would you still want to hold my hand and whisper sweet nothings? That's a difficult question. I have nothing against mature women, but... Even if you were an old man, I still would have invited you out. If you were a former noble exiled from his family or an orphan from the streets, my heart cares not. <laughs> just kidding. I just wanted to try saying it. Of course it's better that you have money. <laughs> you little... Yeah, that's probably true. So, Dorothea, about that dinner? It would be an honor to have you join me tonight. And let's not talk about things like this over dinner, okay? Even if I was an old man or an orphan, huh? Well, that was a complete 180 from their C conversation, wasn't it? It's like there's another Annette one, but Dimitri can't quite deepen his bonds right now. Oh, another one with Gilbert. What's wrong, Father? I didn't expect you to summon me. I carved this on a whim. I wish for you to take it, Annette. A wooden doll. You used to make these for me when I was a child. I still do it. When the mood strikes. <laughs> it's so cute. It's... Uh, wait. No. What do you want from me? I want nothing. I was carving and... I thought of you. I remembered how happy you would be as a child. When I handed one of these dolls to you. I was back then. But I'm not a child anymore. It's too late for this now, father. It doesn't make me happy anymore. Met. I... I was so lonely after you left. I was always, always alone. I didn't know where you were or who to turn to for comfort. All I could do was look at the dolls you carved for me and remember you. And weep. If you don't need it, you can throw it away. It is all the same in the end. I am sorry, Annette. I should have given more thought to my actions. Father, wait! No, this won't do at all. It would be better to throw this doll away. You are too cruel, Father. Of course I... 
I could never throw it away. Okay, surely this all gets resolved once we get to A support with them. But we gotta get to A support first. I'm so sad about that. Uh, no good. I've lost sight of them completely, and those monsters might still be out there. I'd better get back to the monastery before dark. Ash! Ash! I finally found you! Cyril? What are you doing here? You're awfully far from your post. I'd heard you'd gone missing, so I started looking for you everywhere. Here, I brought you a map. You can use this to get home later, right? You came all this way for that. Alone. It's dangerous out here. Am I being a nuisance? Well, <laughs> of course not. This is a big help, actually. You took a serious risk coming out here, though. But I thought we were friends. That's what you told me, Ash. You said friends help each other when they're in trouble. <sighs> I did say that. You're right. Come on, let's get back to the monastery. I could use your help finding the way. I know you could. That's why I came out here. Oh, no. I just thought about it. I'm gonna be in trouble when I get back, huh? Maybe. Leaving your post is against orders. But don't worry. I'll take a share of the punishment. What? Why? You did nothing wrong. <laughs> True. We're friends, though, aren't we? Friends gotta get punished together, too? I don't know about all that. I wouldn't put it like that. I'd say friends stick together, through good and bad. So, let's split the blame. That's what friends are for. Wow, so that's what friends are for. Okay then, when you're in trouble next time and you need my help, I'll go with you to get punished. <laughs> Good. I hope you remember that, because I think we're going to be friends for a long time. You betcha. Friends for life, Ash. That's a promise. Nice! Cyril's finally opening up to start making friends with people. Yeah, Dimitri can't deepen his bonds right now. <sighs> Why are you sighing at me like that? Is my face really so hopeless? Ingrid, I... Mm, I'm trying to think of something polite to say right now. It's as if you have no experience dressing elegantly. At all. I mean, I don't. Dorothea, I appreciate you taking the time, but yes, we're in the middle of a war. It hasn't been my top priority. <laughs> I'm sorry, I... I shouldn't be so hard on you. I was just surprised, is all. A gal like you, you're a beautiful young noblewoman, who somehow has no experience with either makeup or fashion. This is basic stuff, Ingrid. The basics of the basics, really. It may be basic for you, but I'm only just now learning. Annette has been taking the time to show me, actually. Still, I... I can't believe you didn't know anything about it before her. I was just never interested before. Even as a child, it never appealed to me. Fussy, pretty things always felt unnecessary. And gussing myself up to attract someone has never played an important part in my pursuits as a knight. But you've piqued my interest in all this. How? It's not like I'd be dressing myself up just to attract someone. I'd be dressing up for the occasion, specifically. Even if I don't dress up any other time, a special occasion such as this is a good reason to try it out. Well, yeah. That's why we dress up when we go out. You might meet someone and you want to look your best, don't you? Get their attention, lure them in. That's the exact opposite of what I just said. You said previously that dressing up for the occasion is reason enough. Oh, I just said that so you wouldn't run off screaming. I see. My real point is that you're quite lovely even before getting all fixed up. Absolutely bewitching, in fact. So when I'm finished with you, well, someone looking at you could be forgiven for wanting to pounce. Could they be? I don't know that I'd forgive them. Oh, I know. That's why just before I lunge, I'm gonna ask permission. Uh, permission is not granted. Ever. Just back off. I don't know how I was expecting that to go, but it definitely wasn't that. Oh, there's one more conversation. Um, oh, Marianne, there you are. Uh, Lysithia, 
What's all this commotion? What's happening? There's been an accident at the training grounds. A spell gone amok. Come on, we need all the help we can get over there. Oh no, but I don't know how I... We could really use your help before things get out of hand. Come on, hurry! I... I don't think I would be much help. Oh, for the goddess's sake! You won't know unless you try, will you? Don't decide you're of no use without even giving it a shot. Fine then, forget it. I'll go on my own. You can just stand here and stare at the wall. I... <sighs> I'm sorry, I can't do anything right. Oh, perhaps I took it too far. Hey, um, Marianne? Do you have a minute? Listen, I'm sorry about all the stuff I said earlier. The situation was urgent, and I'll admit, I wasn't thinking clearly. I shouldn't have been so callous. I hurt your feelings, didn't I? No, it's fine. I'm the one to blame. Huh? But, hey, are you sure you're all... I'm the one who should apologize. All I did was get in your way. You would have made it to the training grounds much sooner if I hadn't slowed you down. Huh? Wait a second. It's all my fault. It's always my fault. The accident was probably my fault, too. You're being so... negative. I don't know what to say. Wow, it just ends like that? Well, I guess... I guess that gets resolved in the next conversation, then. Must whale be. Oh my goodness. Explorations take so long. It's absurd, man. Okay, one lesson before we wrap things up. Instruct manually. Cool. Okay, let's do some instructing here. Maybe I'll turn my camera off because I know my camera blocks things. Um. Yeah, let's actually train up Felix's reason magic to increase his chances of being able to reclass into a dark bishop. Methinks. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Ash over here just needs to work on riding to get into a master class, so we'll go ahead and give him some training. In the riding. Is a good plan. Okay, Sylvain doesn't need the goal anymore, or the group task of riding, since he managed to get into his master class anyway. Um, so the people who for sure will are Ash and Annette. Yes. Perfect, man. Um, yeah, Sylvain's in a master class now, so we could try training him in other things. Let's train up the people who aren't in master classes first. That are part of my army here, who I plan on using. Like Dorothea, for example. Let's give you a little bit more faith magic experience. Try to get it to be like that. I'm a quick study. Okay, and then Lizathea. I've already mastered one of your master classes being Grimmery. Um I could always try to have her progress on to be a a freaking Dark Knight or something. She might be better as Mortal Savant, considering that she can use Soul Blade with Soul with Sword Fair then. The two combined. So I may as well give her some more training in sword. Because, yeah, Soul Blade is very nice for her. Um, yeah, Marianne here needs to work on a, a few things. We'll work on Reason Magic first and foremost. Is the plan, though. Alright, and then... Okay, Cyril's already in a master class, so he doesn't have to worry about that too much. Um, Flane over here. Could progress into a Gremory again for now, but... Yeah, we could always give some reason magic experience. Wait, what are your... What are your goals set at? Right now. Um... Reason and riding. Yeah, that seems about right. I was about to say if it's still Lance's. It's her Lance skill is getting to be pretty high, isn't it? My oh my. Yeah, I may as well work on reason for now. Okay, I know this is useless, but let's do it just because. Uh 
Aha! Okay, um, here we go. No perfects? Dang it, man. Feels real bad. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything specifically to work on with Cyril here. Oh yeah, I can train him in swords so that he can get vantage. He already has wrath, but he just doesn't have vantage. So let's actually train him in swords so that we can eventually make him a mercenary and then he can get vantage. Yeah, I'm getting it. That'd be pretty nice. Another perfect. Two perfects. Yeah, so we'll try to get that close to C and then we can make him a mercenary for a little while. Then he can get the vantage skill. So let's go ahead and begin training. Wait a second. Maybe I should change Sylvain's goals away from riding. It might still be riding. Too late now. Dang it. Um, soon a day will come when we must all part ways. It's so sad just thinking about it. It's not practical to keep focusing on this though, is it? Um, what answer will she like the most? The gods will always protect everyone. It's important to appreciate things as they are now. You shouldn't let yourself get so distracted. This is the answer that she'd like the most, right? Oh, of course. I don't know if you can get max motivation with one question there, if it's like 50% of max. Um, no. No, no, no. Focus on both magics. Um, I don't believe in the goddess, but I do believe in you. You taught us all so much, Professor. You even taught me to have faith. That's adorable, though. It's so tempting to say yes. That's actually... Man, oh man. Even though I don't want to, it's tempting to say yes there. Oi, load. Why are the... Why is it that post time skip? The group tasks take so long to load now. For the two of us, this will be no challenge at all. <laughs> I'll give it my all. Here's the report. Dang it, just good. At least that went up. I understand. Because I knew that was pretty close. Alright, what do we have here? Ah, oh, Net's so close to sea and riding. Oh, then there's all the weird things that are at almost about the same levels for most characters. Oh man. Marianne got riding up. Yeah, she's better off as a holy knight than a than a Gremory. Because of Frozen Lance, her combat art. Working. I've learned a thing or two from battle. Among other Technic things. Never betrays. So yeah, we'll progress her to become a holy knight. Alright, so I'm gonna wrap things up here. I think, unless there's any certifications that I can do right now. That would benefit me. Um, decent chance, but it's useless. Um, not very useful, but, you know, could be something else to do. Hmm. I would like to go into that eventually. Just to perfect more classes. We could always try that there. Um, yeah, Dimitri's gonna have a tough time going into any other classes, isn't he? Okay, Felix has got to be getting closer for Dark Bishop now. Oh, I didn't give him any training and reason. It's still the same as it was before. Whoops. <laughs> Oops, man. Um, let's see here. Wait. Oh, I don't have any Master Seals. Let's see here. Let's have a look-see. I need... Oh, it hasn't rolled over yet. Oh, dang it. I should have gotten some Master Seals from... And a shop. Dang it, man. Anyway, what are the chances here anyway? 54%. So yeah, riding would preferably go up even more. You know. Yeah, Sylvain reached his master class. Well, that could be something else for him to do eventually. Just to try out other things. Oh, he's still clad in all black armor there. That's pretty neat. Pretty neat there. All right, yeah, we're getting that ability up bit by bit. 30% riding needs to go up in order to work on those since Gremory's already mastered. Could for sure make a net a cavalier. But like, why would I want to do that? I mean, if I bring her as an adjutant one day, just for the sake of, you know, unlocking more skills. There we go. It's all thanks to hard work. No, don't change into newly certified class. Do not, actually. Um, Ten for other stuff for my character to work on. We can be a cavalier, too. Look at that. 
just because. Try to master so many hard. classes on this playthrough here. Look at this. So many purple stars. This is insane. Wait a second, I was gonna shoot for the other thing. Dang it. Whatever, we still, we're probably gonna explore another day before we, before we go into a battle anyway. Sure, man. Just for something else for him to do. There you go. Oh, what a relief. But don't change into it. We'll do it before battle if, if it need be. <coughs> oh, man. 76% chance of Paladin. Not bad, not bad. Um, mmm, we're... I wouldn't mind Vantage plus Wrath. Yeah, just 30% there. We already have Vantage. Okay, her current class still isn't mastered, so we don't need to do this yet. Yeah, we really need to build that up. Really and truly. 70% of mortals haven't, considering how high sword ability was trained. Wacky. Um, yeah, you're getting pretty close to Mortal 7 too, aren't you, Lysathea? Definitely, definitely. Yeah, we just want to progress to Holy Knight here. Still 0% though. Big yikes. Flane is really needing Reason Magic up. And Cyril, is there anything else he wants to work on? Yeah, we still won't have Mercenary with him. So yeah, let's save here real quick, and then we'll try one certification here for Sylvain, methinks. What's this other one? Oh, Bishop. That you could always work on. But I think something else spicy for him to try out would be Paladin. It worked. Sweet, man. Oh man. Huh, okay. No big deal, really. Had to mute my microphone to cough a few more times there. Jeez. Sure, change into that newly certified class. Why not? Something else for him to work on, I guess. If we go into a story battle, though, we can switch him back to Dark Knight. You know? Man, I hate being sick. Did I want to try any other risky certifications? Did I now? Do I have any more advanced seals? Kenson, you raided me right as I was about to end the stream. I was literally just wrapping up some freaking reclassing here, and I was about to raid someone else. I was probably gonna raid you, was my plan. I was literally just about to end the stream and then raid you. Get raid at the end of the stream, nerd. My oh my, I appreciate the raid though. Welcome everyone from Kenson's stream. I hope you had an awesome time over there. I'm sure you did. And now Kenson's also subbing for six months in a row. That means I have to update your color in Discord. Hold on, that means you got gold color in Discord for N's Void Cube there. Let me update this. So you're currently at green for the green bit mad lad. Let's take off the three month sub and let's put on the freaking six month sub. There you go, you're golden in my Discord server now. Kenson, thank you so much for the continued support with the continued subbing there for six months in a row. That's a freaking half a year of being subbed. That is a very long time. Also, I can turn my camera back on here. And now gifting out a sub to Purple Fox King as well. Get <laughs> gifted sub nerd. Ketson, thanks so much for the six months of being subbed and then for gifting out a sub to Purple Fox King. I appreciate that. And Ketson, welcome back into Team N Harmonic. And Purple Fox King, welcome to Team N Harmonic. Hope you enjoy the emotes and the sub badge there. And yeah, welcome, welcome. And Ketson, thanks so much again. Hope you had an awesome stream there. Thanks for the raid and now two subs out of nowhere. I appreciate it. Also, soon you'll have more emotes to mess around with now that I have all five emote slots. You'll have more to mess around with soon. I don't know why it's taking so long for Twitch to approve them. It usually doesn't take this long. I know Twitch is like messing around with a few things. Yeah, I got all five a few days ago when Paul Manon gifted out 26 subs in one stream. Getting to... Getting to 35 points in total. And... I gifted out the other 15. So we got to... We got to 50 sub points. So yeah, all five emote slots. I'm just waiting for the three that I upload to get approved. But those three are just like ones that I sketched up randomly during the summer. They aren't what I 
platinum to ultimately be for those three slots. They're just kind of like temporary placeholders because I, you know, whipped them, quickly whipped them up during the summer, so may as well fill the slots with something. Yeah, absolutely a legend. Like, I could believe it there. So I'm kind of thrilled about that. But yeah, you want that cutie lurk emote? Sorry, but that one's gonna stay behind the tier three thing there because I have the five slots to work with. So while I was, while I was still actively watching Tofu streams, I looked at his emotes and I was like, okay, what types of emotes do I use the most? What five do I use the most? And Lurk wasn't one of them. So I want the five to be like the five that I and probably other people will use the most. So like the two that are already there are gonna stay first and foremost. Well, that emote, but you're not giving $12 a Twitch. Yeah, the higher tier subs, like literally the only reason for higher tier subs is for sub points for unlocking more emotes, emote slots. And I have all five unlocked now. So there's literally no point in doing higher tier subs ever again, as long as I'm affiliated. So, so yeah, I'm glad you like the lurk emote, but yeah. Yeah, tier three gives you more sub points. Uh, Tier 1 sub is 1 sub point, tier 2 sub is 2 sub points, and tier 3 sub is 6 sub points. So like, tier 2 sub costs the same cost as 2 subs, so it counts as 2 points. Whereas tier 3 costs the same cost as 5 subs, but it gives you 6 points. So it's like people that are doing tier 3 get give like an extra point out of it because they're doing like a $25 sub. So when I gifted out the 15 sub points, I didn't gift out 15 subs, I gifted out 2 tier 3s and 3 tier 1s. But yeah, you had a homie give you a tier 3, and it didn't seem to give you more than one. Like, for your your own sub points on your channel then? Because yeah, it gives 6 sub points here. Because I needed 15, I gifted out 2 tier 3s and 3 tier 1s, and I got the 15 sub points I needed for all 5 slots. So, yeah, anyway, the 5 types that I want. There's W and High, which... It's like, you can use the W emote in like so many contexts. <clears throat> like when something crazy happens or even that context there, anytime you might give that look, you can use it in so many contexts. The Jigglypuff high emote, you can use it when you say hi, you can use it when you say bye, you can use it when you're thanking people. It's like, hey, thanks, man. And yeah, you can use that in a whole bunch of contexts. As for the other three, all right, so first of all, the placeholder ones. Do I have the thing open here? I probably have it in one of my bazillion tabs here. I was listening to a bunch of music. Emote settings. So, if I turn on display capture 2. Here's the new emotes that are coming up. Just because they're things that I quickly whipped up during the summer when I was sketching. In fact, I drew all three of these during my summer job, actually. So, I have a Snivy emote here that I actually drew on a sticky note. Physically. And then I use the sticky note as a reference to draw it digitally. So, there's a happy emote that's coming soon. Here's a freaking weird derp Pikachu that I randomly drew. And here's a smug emote of Hero from Smash Bros. Because, you know, he can give the look of, oh, talking mad shit for someone above 0%, you know? Too fitting there. Anyway, um, those aren't the three that I'm going to ultimately have, though. What about the Falcon emote? Yeah, that's going to replace one of them. Because those three are ones that are not going to be kept. Those are three that are just getting uploaded as something to have there for now, but are going to be replaced. <laughs> so for the three other varieties of emotes that I want, I want a G emote, which is like finger guns. So that falcon emote, which if I have it open here, if I go to my main display capture here. So this is what I have here. Also, that sub point goal doesn't need to be there. So it's like sort of technically done. But at the end of the day, the color when it's emote size, the colors blend together. So I don't know what to do about this. Like I can't upload this as is when it's 28 by 28. You literally can't tell what it is. The gloves blend together with the scarf, and you can't tell. Like, you can tell it's Falcon, but that's it. So, like, as a full art, it doesn't look that bad. Yeah, less detail is better when it comes to stuff like that. I can't help myself. Can't do too much shading with emotes. Artists had a lot of trouble with that at first. It's not even shading that's the problem. It's the fact that the scarf is the same color as the gloves. So, one idea that I had, because those scarves are good. That was scarves. Those gloves are a good size for emote that's like a third of the whole space there so you can tell it's finger guns as long as they don't blend in so what my idea was is what if i either changed the look of the gloves or the look of falcon himself one of the other to one of the recolors from smash ultimate like what if i changed it to like the black falcon or the green falcon or something like that leaving one as is and changing the other to a smash ultimate recolor like what if i made that green falcon for example and then he'd have like a red scarf and then his gloves would actually stand out 
<coughs> you know, those are ideas that I have. So I'm not sure what to do there. And yeah, that emote there took a lot of tries. It looks like it would. Like, emotes are so hard to draw to get them right. But yeah, that was my idea when it came to the Falcon emote, is what if I recolored either the gloves or Falcon himself to one of the alternate colors from Smash Ultimate? Would that work? So maybe I'll try it out one of these days. So yeah, one of the emotes is going to be a finger guns emote, and it's going to be Falcon because that's too perfect. As for the other ones though, so also I want to have representation of my three favorite franchises being Pokemon, Fire Emblem, and Xenoblade Chronicles. I already have plenty of Pokemon representation with my emotes. All my emotes right now are Pokemon emotes. Um, for then Captain Falcon's getting thrown in as the finger guns one because he's literally too perfect. So he's an exception to that. Then for factoring in Xenoblade Chronicles, my idea is I want to draw Nia from Xenoblade Chronicles 2 as a smug emote. One of the emotes that I'm uploading right now is a smug emote already. So this will probably be the last one that I replace. We'll see what people think about the hero smug emote. But I'm thinking one of these days I might draw a Nia smug emote from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Because when it comes to smug emotes, like first of all, a G emote, finger guns, you can use that when you thank somebody, when someone's thanking you, you can be like, hey, no problem. Or like you raid somebody, you could be like, hey, get raided, you know, finger guns and stuff like that. Smug can be used in place of Kappa and more. Like you can, there's so many contexts when you can use a smug emote. And the final one that I'm thinking that I might want to draw a version of is a lull emote. More so for Discord than for Twitch, honestly, since there's like no way for me to use a lolly emote in Discord otherwise. So that can be useful for people. Now, like that's the one that has the most chance of being changed to maybe a different variety, but I'm thinking a lolly emote. And because I want to represent Fire Emblem as well, I was leaning towards maybe drawing a laughing female Byleth. Maybe. That was my thought process there. You know? And hello, Uneven. Hello, hello. Several days ago, I saw that you started streaming. I got like a notification for it, and I was like, I gotta stop by uneven streams already. Because unevens by my streams like all the time, but I've yet to stop by your streams. So. <laughs> and I feel bad about that. And like you streamed the one time, but then I had to start streaming. And then by the time that I ended stream, you weren't even streaming anymore. And I was sad. <laughs> it's cool, dude. You stream weekends. I'll keep that in mind. Keep that in mind then. Make that pull. What pull? Hawa? What's this about? Anyway, um, yeah, so that's my plan for the emotes, gets it. So the two that are there, a finger guns, a smug, and uh and a lala one is what I'm currently leaning towards for the three other emotes. But for now, there should be three new emotes that get approved soon that will be like temporary placeholder ones. So that is the emote situation. Thought you were gonna pull some shit. It's a reference to the Fire Emblem mobile game. Oh, the freaking pulls with the with the orbs there, with the summons and such. I was actually just gonna wrap up the stream here pretty soon. Um, yeah, I'll just try once more to see if. Wait, would it be more beneficial to try to make him a mortal savin? What are his chances here? Also, six. Yeah. Wait, I don't even have a. I don't even have a master seal, so I can't even. We'll try this. But yeah, if you're wrapping up soon, you're gonna head out, have a nice night, man. Oh, cool. Looks like uh, Felix managed to do that. <laughs> Would be a shame if someone gifted subs. Okay, there have been too many gifted subs in this stream lately. <laughs> we need no more around these parts. Several days ago, Palmonon gifted out 26 subs in one stream, and we got to all five emote slots, and then Uneven comes out of nowhere and gifts out <laughs> five more subs anyway. <laughs> Oops, you slipped. <laughs> What the heck, uneven? Gifting out five subs right at the end of my stream here. There's never enough gifted subs, you say, Ketson. Okay, that is a freaking ton of subs. And that's also a ton of... Like, that's also got to be super expensive, too. That many subs. Also, did only the one alert go off? Okay, never mind. It's just really slow. Sorry, I don't have a headphone in for my computer. My over a minute long sub alert playing out five times now. At least it's not 26 times in a row. Uneven, that is a freaking crazy amount of subs there. I really appreciate that. Thanks so much for the five gifted subs. That means a lot there. And this, these five people probably, probably aren't even here right now. <laughs> but I'll say it all anyway. Freaking, if it lets me scroll up here. Freaking... Hello, Dar. Welcome to Team Harmonic. 
Hope you enjoyed the emotes and the sub badge. Same to Milkshake who raided me for the first time the other day. Hope you enjoy the emotes and the sub badge even though you're not here. Mother Mania, that's a name that I have not seen in forever, but <laughs> hope you like the sub there. Sido Hakami does actually come here. You're probably not here right now, but I hope you enjoy the emotes and the sub badge. And same with Ara Stats, who was here once during my Ghostbusters stream. But yeah, thank you so much, Uneven. I hope you enjoyed that green freaking gift sub badge. Are you part of my Discord server? Because of Palmanon recently, I had to make a whole bunch of I had to make a whole bunch of gift gift sub rolls too. I don't remember. Are you part of my Discord server? Because if so, I need to change your name to the green color now that you have the freaking green gift sub badge. Also, Ketson, have you gifted out emotes before? Do you have the freaking gift sub roll? You do, you do already have the gift sub roll. Speaking of, I try to update everybody's roles in the Discord server to be reflective of like stuff that they've done in the stream to like show support there, you know? But yeah, saying we all gotta make that emote quota. Okay, I already, because of Palmanon gifting out 26 subs and then me gifting out the other 15 sub points, I've technically already meet, like met all five emote slots. Like, so, so I'm sorry to say that that doesn't actually contribute to getting more emotes because, because of Paul Manon and me, I, uh, I have all five emote slots unlocked. So if I turn on my display capture here, I'm waiting for these three temporary placeholder emotes to be uploaded, but I actually have all five emote slots unlocked because of Paul Manon and my efforts combined. I'm just waiting on these three pending of like things that I sketched during that yeah that is super hype it's still unbelievable i still barely believe it but yeah if they sync discord with twitch the name color should change automatically um no like if you sync discord and twitch the fact that you're subscribed is carried over automatically but but these roles that i have myself i manually give out myself like ketson just did his six month sub so i gave out the six month sub role he's also reached green bits in terms of giving bits so i gave the green bit mad lad role he's gifted out sub before so i have the sub gifter role he's a vip in the stream so i gave him the vip role he donated a ton during my first 24 hour charity stream so he has the donator role this role, role bleh, this role right here also what is your profile picture right now ketson anyway this role right here is the only one that's managed by twitch this is the one that i can't give out myself and it's just automatically automated by like discord and twitch together seeing if it's connected there but yeah so we have a ton of people subbed now because because of that there but yeah are you part of my discord server i don't think so if so i need to give you the streamer friends role because all streamer friends i give the streamer friends role so that way they appear under here with that is that you there yeah it is freaking time to assign some roles green sub gifter now that you gave that you weren't but you are now now i gotta give you streamer friends too just like that so now you should have a green name to show that you've gifted out five subs. You should have a permanent green name now. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. I took the hex color code from like the lighter part of the green of the sub badge there to differentiate it from the <laughs> nice <coughs> to differentiate it from like the other things here. Because look at this. I have freaking rolls for every badge in chat here and more like artist, for example. I don't seem to be part of your discord. Ketson, I am. I am part of your discord. Where? I have it in a freaking streamer thing here. Do I? I swear. I swear I am. This is music. This is music. To Wait, do I not have it here? Wait, what happened to it? Did I leave it by accident? Okay, I swear your discord server was here. Did I scroll past it? What? Oh, it's in there. You're right here. You're in this freaking streamer one. Sorry, I made folders and that. I'm in your stream. I'm in freaking shiny Eevees. What, what even is that role? <laughs> I figured you were just playing, but I was actually getting flustered there because I was like, wait a second, am I not? But yeah, anyway, I have a whole bunch of freaking... I'm stressing out over the fact that I thought maybe I accidentally left his server and I was going to feel bad there. Oh, man. Yeah, follow for follow. <laughs> Easy, follow for follow. Anyway, I have a freaking ton of roles here based on things that people have done. All the active <laughs> badges in chat right now, I have as roles here. So yeah, enjoy the green color and enjoy being a streamer friend. So you'll show up there when you're live and such. Enjoy that, uneven. 
<laughs> and again, thanks so much for the five gift subs. It's actually crazy, and it's still unbelievable that I somehow managed to reach all five emote slots. Um, also, you were saying something there, though. And still on your last, I assume that's supposed to be slot, not slut. Like, so does that mean that you are four slots uneven? Or... You had a dude come into your stream and legit go follow for follow and followed and left. <laughs> nice. I probably would have done the same there. Or <laughs> your slots are sluts. <laughs> Makes sense there. Or I would have gone under to his stream under like a fake account and been like follow for follow or like sub for sub or something or just like do something to mess with him. <laughs> you know, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I don't know. But yeah, Ketson, thanks so much for the six months of being subbed and the gift sub and uneven coming out of nowhere right at the end of my stream and gifting out five subs, which is insane. Thanks so much, uneven. And welcome to the five people into Team at Harmonic who probably aren't here. You know, make a new account every night, go into a stream, follow for follow. Yeah, sub streamers really do care about follower count. It's like... If, if you're doing follow for follow, they're not gonna come to your stream to view. Like, someone who's following you just because you're following them is never gonna come to your stream. But some people are just like, I gotta get that follower count up and feel better about myself. Speaking of, I recently passed 500 followers, and I've never asked anybody for follow for follower. Or follow for follow. Those are hard-earned follows there, of people that also typically don't come by the stream. You know? But yeah, we're all in the same boat, so we gotta share that love. I appreciate it there. Yeah, managed to get to 500 recently. And yeah, look at my 20k followers, zero viewers. And thanks, Ketson and Uneven. Yeah, freaking finally made it to half a thousand now. Halfway to a thousand. Which means that every time I hit a milestone like that, I typically stream a challenge run of something. In fact, do I still have the oven mitt there? I do. I typically stream Undertale oven mitts, but I'm doing that for charity on November 2nd anyway, so... We'll do it after that if I don't already beat it. Because the rule is, whenever we hit milestones on this stream, I continue whatever the current challenge run rate is. Right now, it's Undertale Genocide of Amits. We're stuck on the Zans boss fight. But I'm going to be doing that for three hours during the 24-hour charity stream on November 2nd anyway. So I figure I'll do it for three hours there. And if I don't beat it then, then we can do it another stream then because of the 500 at some point later. But... I'm gonna be doing it for three hours. Chances are I'm gonna beat it. Like, I came pretty close to beating Zans before last time I tried it with oven mitts on. So, you know. You know. <laughs> and uneven also coming out of nowhere with 500 bits. Okay. <clears throat> what the heck is it with the generosity today? I'm just trying to end my stream here, and people are coming left and right with generosity. I apparently got an emote thanks to uneven pictures. Mega cheer. Here's the freaking thanking message. <laughs> one bit for each follower. <laughs> so thanks so much for the 500 bits that I even. Okay, you give the out freaking five subs today. And 500 bits. I literally don't even know what to say. I've been trying to end the stream. And then this is all happening. What even do I say? Thanks so much for the 500 bits on even. And again, like I was saying, I still haven't stopped by your stream. And I still feel really bad about that. I feel like such a bad streamer friend. <laughs> Man, here I am, the freaking streamer that's like, hey, people support me, but I'm not actually gonna stop by your streams myself. Man, I'm such a jerk. I need to stop by your streams. Man, oh man, thanks so much for the insane generosity uneven. That is a lot of freaking bits and gifted subs. Like, I don't even know what to say here. By the way, Harmonia, nope, ending stream. You don't get to say it. <laughs> uh, do I play competitive Pokemon? I briefly got it into a little bit in a little bit when I had like completed the Pokedex and I was getting bored. This is a time way before I streamed. Um, I was getting into it a little bit there, but like not so much seriously. It was more making joke builds, but in a competitive way. I once swept somebody's entire team online using a Magikarp. It was fantastic. They had a team of all legendaries and... It's incredible. So you start out with Ninjask, and you alternate between Protect and Substitute, so you gain speed every turn because of like the speed boost thing that he has. And then you Baton Pass to Smeargle. Smeargle uses Spore to put the opponent to sleep. 
Then you use Belly Drum to take off half your HP and maximize attack. So now you have max speed and max attack. Then you Baton Pass to Magikarp, who can just splash for a turn. Magikarp doesn't care. The enemy will hit Magikarp, who was wearing a Focus Sash. So Magikarp is going to be left with 1 HP. Now Magikarp has freaking times 6 speed, times 6 attack, 1 HP, and is always going to attack first because of the speed. And will use Flail, which does more damage the less HP he has, with 1 HP. Always attacking first. So, you know. <laughs> you know. I've made crazy builds like that, and they've worked, and it's hilarious. So, there's that. Um, I do have a couple semi-serious builds on 3DS, but not too many. But yeah, gonna be doing a Pokemon tournament for funsies soon. That sounds cool. And yeah, you drowned in pools in your last tournament, so you play competitive Pokemon on Even? I didn't know this. Should be fun looking for a cold commentator, nudges Harmonia. Gross! No, that actually sounds really cool. <laughs> that actually sounds really cool there. But yeah. Oh, it was for Street Fighter, though. Yeah, when it comes to competitive stuff, all I'm really into is Smash, where I'll be doing a tournament on November 9th. And then from there, I'll be deciding if I want to continue with competitive Smash or take a break from it. In fact, I even have a freaking flyer here. I have a freaking thing here. That's the thing I'm going to. On November 9th and 10th. Apparently, everyone who signs up needs to sign up in all the tournaments, and there's like... Smash Bros. Singles and Smash Bros. Doubles, and I still don't have a doubles partner, so I'm a little bit distressed. <laughs> I mean, I could always ask my doubles partner from the last tournament, but he doesn't actually even own Smash, and we won a doubles tournament together. So, you know. <coughs> but yeah, FGC communities are chill AF. I was into the trading card game for a little while and communities with that, but not very long. I never got into, like, the competitive thing there. I do have a bunch of competitive Pokemon that somebody made for me once who used to stop by the stream, Masked Phoenix. I haven't seen him in the stream in forever, though. But he made me, like, a full team of six of my favorite Pokemon, but made competitively. And he even made one of them shiny. Like, one of my favorite Pokemon is Staraptor, for example, just because of my experience with Pokemon Diamond being my first Pokemon game. And because it was my first Pokemon game and I was a kid, I never used anybody but my starter. But for some reason, a Starly was able to follow along that whole time and evolve all the way into a star raptor and literally carry me through the game so torterra and star raptor were like the only two pokemon i used at pokemon diamond as a child so star raptor is one of my favorite pokemon for carrying me through like that whole ice route route 216 or whatever literally carrying me to victory after torterra ran out of moves and then i started using them both evenly from there anyway i literally have a shiny competitive star raptor that somebody made me that <laughs> Is just kind of sitting around so that's that's cool there but yeah i looked into competitive pokemon but way too many options that shit is deep yeah i couldn't get into it because like too much luck based with like guessing like is the opponent going to use protect are they not like which one should i attack and yada yada but yeah you'll dubs with me just let you get your passport if you're actually serious about that i'd be down for that but you're probably meaning <laughs> you'll never have longer hair than me yeah man i'm freaking decked out here I have, like, the pre-time skip Mercedes hair from this game is what I have. Like, it goes so far down. I also had it recently slightly trimmed, but, like, not a lot. So, you know. But yeah, if it was a national UD dubs with me, I mean, it's a decently big tournament. Apparently, they have 10k worth of prizes lined up. They put esports in the title. That might just be a handle, though, to make it sound fancy. I don't know. But yeah. Um, yeah, I come to SmashCon next year. What's SmashCon? I've heard of it before. I don't know anything about it, though. But yeah, and you're chopping all yours off soon? But why? But you need a bad teen sponsorship. That or, like, L'Oreal or something, you know? SmashCon's a Super Smash Bros. convention in Virginia. Sounds too far to go to. I gotta freaking spend my months on university tuition. Oh, donate in there. That's actually really cool. Come to CEO that's near you? I can't do freaking... I can't be traveling. I gotta pay for university. <laughs> is what I gotta do. I can't be doing any traveling here. My oh my. Um, is there any certifications I can try here just for fun? There's a 30% one. Oh, I don't even have any more advanced seals. See, it was fun. They tend to be more focused on the other FGC tourneys though. Back when you were hardcore into Smash, you were traveling like twice a month. Huh. Interesting. The key word there is yet. Hawa? Also, Ketson, this 
this Pokemon tournament? When are you putting that together? When's that gonna be? Because I'd totally be down for co-commentary with that. In fact, if you wanted to, since I archive a lot of the stuff that I do on YouTube afterwards as well, if you wanted to have like a record of stuff like that, I could always like archive it like I do everything there. Oh yeah, you can't travel yet because of school. After school, maybe I'll be able to travel. Maybe, maybe. Probably next month, Nito Nito. Get a bunch of advanced seals. Yeah, I'm definitely down for that. In that case, I could always make an announcement about it in my own Discord server too to see if anybody wants to join it. I'd have to look through what Pokemon I have. I know I have a competitive Star Raptor, I have a competitive Milotic. Like a whole bunch of these ones that were made for you. Where is my 3DS anyway? It's probably not charged. It's probably not in this case. Here's my game case, which is like a Legend of Zelda thing. I don't know where my 3DS is, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, there it is. It's probably dead. It's probably dead, so. Because whenever I stream anything 3DS, I wind up emulating it because I don't have a 3DS capture card. Does this thing have any charge? Oh my goodness, it does. What game is in there? It's Fire Emblem Awakening. Oh yeah, because I was like reviewing how to do Lunatic Plus Classic for when I emulated it on stream. I was reviewing how the heck I even do that. All right, so let's put that back in because I'm curious here. Now I'm curious, what do I even have here? I don't want to start a system update. No, 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 no. I have a bravely second background. So there's that. Can perform a system update later? Yeah, I'm whipping out the 3DS and Pokemon Ultra Moon here. But yeah, if you go to Smash Con, you'll be in the front. You'll front the hotel room. We'll be fun chilling with you IRL, as long as you're cool with room one with you in the homies. That'd actually be really cool, but like, traveling's hard. <laughs> if someday I was able to do that though, I'd actually be down for that. Okay, let's check my box here. I can't call this ride Pokemon here. Hold on, let's see. What do I even have anyway? Okay, yeah, I have a competitive... These are the six Pokemon that were made for me then. He was like, what are your six favorite Pokemon? And I was like, I don't know, here's six of my favorites. And I named them out. So I guess, and hello Cam. So I guess the six ones that I have that are made like competitively are a Lucario, a Leafeon, a Vaporeon, a Milotic, a Grovile, and a Shiny Star Raptor. Like, so this guy basically just told me to say, like, what six of my favorite Pokemon were, and I was like, oh, there's six of my favorites, and he made those six of them, like, competitively for me. Like, I know that, you know, something like Grovile isn't really gonna be a, a competitive Pokemon, but he still did it anyway, like, perfecting them and stuff like that. And the fact that he made a freaking shiny Star Raptor for me was absolutely insane. So the fact that I haven't seen him around the stream here in forever saddens me. Um... Do I, do I have anything else in this box? But I do have those ones. Oh yeah, I was making some competitive things for a while. Like I, I was a little bit into the competitive game. So I have a couple competitive ones. Like I have a Rotom Wash. I have a Kangaskhan because of like the whole Mega Evolution thing with that. I have some Trappers just because fun. Some Trap Placers. Do I have anything else sitting around here? Guess not. Okay, I've also caught every Pokemon. So they're like sitting around in these boxes. There's a couple holes here and there. Like if my camera focuses. So there's Gen 7 going down. Like there's a couple holes here and there that I don't know what happened to them. But for the most part, I'm one of the few people that like completed the national decks. Like I'm pretty sure some of these holes were created by me like trading Pokemon away to get certain Vivillon patterns. Because yeah, and then we're back to the beginning there again. Because one of the hardest things to do is get every pattern of the villains. Because what form of wings they have is based on like where they come from in real life. And I've collected every Vavillon pattern. I'm absolutely crazy. That's maybe even harder than catching them all, just in general. It's insane. Um, yeah, <laughs> so there's that. So I do have a few competitive ones here and there. I don't know if I have any in this box. Yeah, I yeah, the rest of these are all kind of casual stuff. It's looking like but yeah, I I can do that. Um, and yeah, the Staraptor is pretty crazy there. Is indeed. But yeah, and I'm hyped for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Not as much as something like Fire Emblem Three Houses here before this came out. Okay, I should probably turn my 3S back to sleep before it dies. <laughs> but yeah, I guess I do have a few competitive Pokemon lying around myself. Just, you know, not super competitively viable ones. But still technically competitive perfected you're getting sword i'm getting both i'm probably gonna play through sword on stream and then maybe see if anyone wants to like soul link <laughs> sword and shield with me 
after I'm done with sword. And then maybe I can do a playthrough of shield as part of the soul. Like, that was an idea I had, but like, I don't know what I'll do about that. Anyway, I've been trying to call the stream for a while now, so let's... Let's do so here, after I try one more wacky reclass. Like this one here. 30%. It didn't work, that's what I figured. Um, yeah, I'm gonna call the stream here. Kets and uneven, thanks again for the freaking crazy generosity, especially freaking uneven there with five gifted subs out of nowhere and then 500 bits. It's like, crazy man. Who we raiding? I don't know. I don't know, I'll figure that out in a sec here. But for now, thanks all for stopping by and hanging out, and I'm gonna head out of here. So see you then.